What up guys? We just got to the Pier 121 Marina, Pier 121, I don't know. <laughs> We're about to launch the kayaks. We actually already dropped them over by the water. Just got the truck parked. And uh, we've got four setups with us. We brought a couple rods and reels, uh, crankbait, rattle trap, Texas rig, and swim bait. Uh, of varying colors so we're gonna get started here in a minute but I'm gonna leave the big camera in the truck just take the GoPro which I don't have strapped up yet but she got on and we're gonna do some dual footage vlogging for you all today so see you here in a minute alrighty here we are all rigged up take the spinning rod with the rattle trap and the uh, cast Kang assassin which I just put on the Hank Parker rod with the Texas rig and then she's got the crankbait and the swim bait, weighted belly hook. Yeah. This thing flies. That <laughs> rattle trap's kind of heavy. Wow, just had the first hit. Oh, hot diggity. Well, we didn't catch a dang thing on the kayak, so what we're gonna do, just got home. I think we got out there at like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. I have no clue, it seems like it's been all day. It's about 6.30 now. Uh, we're gonna drop these things in the garage real fast, and uh, I'm gonna put a couple frogs on a couple of the other rods and reels that we've got. We're gonna take the 7 p.m. CrossFit class and maybe have 20 minutes to fish the little frog pond by the house. Okay, dokie. Strapping y'all in. We just got to the pond. It's like 8.15. Just wrapped up the CrossFit class. We're going to throw the frog for just a couple minutes because it's about to get dark. Locked and loaded. First time we've come over to the frog pond since it's been growing. So, not much of a path to the water anymore. Wow. Never have I seen this pond like this. It's looking a little tricky. Okay. Could be the first frogfish of the year if we catch something. You got one? Damn, she's got one. First cast. No way. Your GoPro's ready to go. It's just on the, it's literally in the car. Oh my gosh, they're hitting the top water. Oh, they're getting these little bugs, guys. They need to get this freaking frog, though. Oh my gosh. There he is, he's sitting. Yes! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> that was perfect, textbook right there. Dang, that hook got him good. Oh man, if only he was a three pounder because I can never hook up on the big guys with these frogs. I get very unlucky. First frog fish of the year. I just let it sit. As soon as it came to that, I was in the big opening. I brushed it over the weeds. And then as soon as I got to that second opening, I gave him a little pop and I let him sit right there. I knew something was going to grab it. Actually, I didn't. I assumed something was going to grab it. After you catch a fish on the frog, make sure that your frog's so-called feet <laughs> are fixed and are not around the hooks. And uh, make sure the hooks are not pushing into the frog. Because oftentimes you'll catch one and then one hook might be inside the frog. That ain't going to do you any good when you try and hook up to the next one. So, oh man, what a blast. And that's the first fish uh, on the vlogs that I've caught on our new Fate Black Rod by 13 Fishing. We put the scorpion on it. I took the scorpion off of that other lose rod, if y'all have seen it in some other videos. But look at this. Mm, ain't that a combo right there? Uh, it was green line. It's and a hit faded. right as the frog but, was. Uh, uh, oh, I just had a fish no, trying to go after the line. You, you got, got one? one? Got one. Ha <laughs> ha. She got a. Oh my gosh. Two in a row. Was that first and second cast? Uh oh, he is down under there. Oh. Unless he's big. Oh, he's stuck in the weeds. Oh no, he's stuck in the weeds. Uh, uh yep, yeah, just keep, just keep, yep, keep it tight. <laughs> I think I don't a even fish know if he's here. still on. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste any time though, cause sun is setting, and we're catching frogfish, guys. So I'm gonna see I if he's bad. on. I don't know if he's still on her line. Yep, <laughs> I saw it move. <laughs> All Big right. guy or? Uh, I honestly don't. I don't know, <laughs> cause he's stuck so far in this. <laughs> <NASA>. <laughs> 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 oh 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 oh! <laughs> I wasn't even, I was looking over at her and one just went after it. Oh my gosh, I didn't get him. I didn't give him long enough to uh, to take the frog. That's always what I do, by the way. 
Ooh, breathing heavy after today's workout, guys. Uh, the workout was called Sugar Daddy. We do CrossFit, and it was 21, 15, 9 uh, deadlifts at 225. So 21 deadlifts at 225, then a 400 meter run, 15 deadlifts at 225, then a 400 meter run, and then nine deadlifts at 225, and a 400 meter run. And I finished it in six minutes and 11 seconds. And I think the ladies RX was like uh, 155 pounds. So uh, had a little bit of fun right before getting out here. Oh, I'm gonna leave it right there. Something just hopped right next to it. Watch this. Come on. Oh my gosh. Dudes, I know they want it. This is a sick rod though. This is actually, we chose to get the 7.4 uh, heavy. We always use medium heavies, but for something like a frog, a, a heavy is good and it's got a fast <clears throat> taper. Basically, it's just a stiff old sucker. So 7.4 heavy fast and I'm digging it. Make these far casts with the scorpion reel. Are we two and two? Yeah, two, wait, no, I missed the second one. I was, I was looking over at you and he burst up at it and I, uh, it's funny cause that one I just got, it literally, uh, you know, it hit or tried to get it and then, uh, went back after it. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's a cast. I'm trying to give him some big old pops and really disturb the water. That way something comes to see what it is. Did you see that though? I mean, I heard it. Oh yeah. I always do that. I'm like not a frog fisherman. You kind of got to let him take it like this one here. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Right? Is that what you're supposed to do? I'm supposed to give him a solid one count and kind of reel in the line just a little bit and then go ahead and yank her back. God dang it. I swear I gave him time. Oh man. Well, I believe it's known that the hookup ratio on frogs is not. Oh, like that. <laughs> Might be. No, I think he's little. There's a swirl. We're all getting so caught up in this moss, it's funny. Ah, oh, no. Natasha. Maybe. Oh, did you see that? He's right there, he's waiting for it. Wait for it, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. There he is. <laughs> yeah, finally. There he goes, perfect dive. Uh, over here in this opening, kinda right before it closed up too, that was good. What is that, five now? You've got three, I've got two? Ah, fuck. Oh, she just missed one. Look at how much line is on this spool after I cast out like three quarters away the pond. We need to put some more line on this thing. It's a fish, I saw his belly. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I got, oh. uh, oh. no I didn't. Damn. I was about to say he's the tiniest fish ever. Damn it! That's so funny. Cause I think I don't know. I probably not if he can't get it. There we go. God. I don't think that was my fault. <laughs> All right, last cast. Cool. Well, <laughs> got out here. 8.15ish, uh, maybe even slightly after. It's now 8.49, so we got a half hour. It's getting pretty dark, and guess what? We caught five fish and probably missed at least five more on the frogs, but that was a lot of fun after not catching anything on the kayaks earlier out at Lake Louisville. So this pond always happens to produce for us. We got lucky, maybe, who knows, but we'll be out here a lot more with the frogs, and I'm gonna do a review on the Fate Black Rod soon. And if you liked any of the gear we're using, you can, of course, check it out in the links below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. <gasps>